growing up, it was just like, I'm from Cornwall, we didn't even know what graffiti was. There was no one doing it to tell us. We just knew that you weren't supposed to do it, so that's why we did it. In you know the late 80s, early 90s, where graffiti and painting was not a career choice. You know, we're breaking the rules by doing this and getting away with it, and, and you know, making a living off of it. I started doing murals probably early 20s. I wanted something a little bit bigger, so I moved to Ottawa. Been here for about 15 years. He started painting my friend's places, my little brother's apartment, this type of thing. I remember being so hungry that what I was trying to do was just get a wall. I just wanted a shot. I would do it for free. I wouldn't do I wouldn't want anything. I just wanted the opportunity to paint large scale, right? And I tell people all the time, it's like, you're so busy, you're working, you're doing well. We did paint for free for a decade, you know, like that was the passion, that was all the hard work, that was the drive, you know? It's like, without all of that, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. So that was the push. Keeping track of that stuff probably would have been smart when I started, but um, I'd say somewhere close to 500 walls kind of trickled and it started going in the direction of getting more and more opportunities. Painted a silo last summer, bucket list type scenario. Got on a boom lift 80 feet in the air. And I like the idea of it being either on the street or somewhere where there's lots of traffic, right? So people get to see it, talk about it. All the time lapses I do, those are from start to finish. Being in a position where everything's time sensitive, it's you know, affecting my work in a good way where I'm really zoning in what I'm doing. You know, you get up the next day and you do it again. I'm blessed to actually be at that point in my career where you know, people see what I do um, and they don't need to see the signature, they see the style and they know for sure that it's me that's doing it. My art style is more pop art, kind of an all over print effect as well, so I'd like to go corner to corner. I'll have the initial sketch pencil, then we outline it with markers, black uh, acrylic marker. And then once the outline's up in black, I fill with acrylic. It could be very minimal or it could be extremely detailed. Last minute alterations, totally down. That's my stick, I'm open to it. Fall Down originally was a clothing line where I just wanted to make t-shirts, kind of a skate brand. Bless for anybody who followed me then or anybody who was actually taking part in the, you know, the scene that we had at the time. It kind of uh, spiraled into a gallery that I opened in 2010. It's kind of like an art hub where we hosted events, you know, club nights, workshops, skate parties. Truth is, back then the art scene wasn't what it is now. So it was like we were making more money selling beer than we were selling art. And then when I closed the shop, it just became my alias here as an artist. When you're having fun, it, you know, it doesn't even feel like work. So there, there's no rules. We can do whatever we want. I'm doing a lot of kids' rooms, so we got this five-year-old yelling at me what he wants, like, as we're doing it, you know? He's like, I want a, I want a dog with a backpack on. And I'm just like, what else, you know? Like, keep it, keep it coming, you know?